Now for the first, the third thing we're going to look at, uh, we're going to look at these slots here, and this time we're going to do it rather laboriously. We're just going to go step by step and cut these two slots. Uh, the slots, uh, their uh, radius 125, that's quarter wide, uh, quarter of an inch. Uh, they are 0.4 long, the two of them, and one is one inch from that point there to that point there. 0.4 long and then a 0.8 step over to the next one and backwards and forwards there. So we're going to program this in rather rather laboriously uh, and let's go to NC plot and I'll explain what's going on. Now I've uh, I just got one of my drill programs and stuff like that. We've uh, I've taken out the uh, bits that we've done before and we uh, once again we're at the same old same old. Um, and here we are with our tool, uh, with Z where we're 0.1, we're rapided to uh, 0.1 of an inch above the job. Of course, uh, my friend's machine is set for Imperial. And I must say, I did forget something. I forgot the MO th uh, MO2 is spindle counterclockwise, MO3 is clockwise. And we need forgot to turn off the spindle at the end of the program. So if we put in here, um, uh, we can put in right there, MO4. I'm pretty sure that's right, M. Uh, you have to check the codes yourself. M004, um, zero, zero, which is spindle off. I'm pretty sure that's correct. So we forgot that in the other programs. And I actually, the last program, I think I forgot to retract the, I think I put the uh, the circular uh, interpolation, the pocket milling of that one there. I forgot to put that back, fed that down to the top um, surface there. It was still 100 thou up and hadn't wrapped it down. But uh, uh, that's something you'd find out if you were programming anyway, but uh, you can see it on the job. Now, what we're going to do is rather old school. We're just going to... Um, uh, we're going to turn the spin line. We're running at 500. Our feed rate's two inches. Uh, it's probably I'll change that to one. It could be anything you like, but you can change it. Uh, spindle clockwise on, uh, and off we go. So what we're going to do is we've turned our spindle line. We're going to we're still in G double O, so it's in rapid at the moment. We're in absolute coordinates. Remember, this is modal. If it's not modal, every time you do one of these programs, you have to put whatever G code. Everything has to have a G in front of whatever you do, but uh, when it's modal, it stays in that until you change it to something else. So our G, uh, Rapid Travis, G00 is still in action here. So let's just go in Z. So we're already at the home position. We're at X, Y, and Z0. Oh, actually, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the... Um, Oh, let's go first of all out to the first slot, which is out to 0.4. Let's have a look at our drawing here. We're coming out to oh, one millimeter, and then we're going to go to the 0.4. Okay, so it's not, not so one inch. I've got my 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 um things a little uh, bit mucked up. So we're going to go in rapid. We're at the home position. We're going to go uh, x one inch decimal point and uh, that will wrap it out to there we're still at the home position and then we're going to wrap it down we're going to go z positive 0.1 inch down still in rapid so let's just hit the button there and we should see there it is in rapid coming down here and so we're 0.1 above uh, to Z0, what have we done? Z0.1. Hmm, I don't know why we're at Z0. Why are we at Z0? Oh, I know why. Because, because we're actually... Um, now, this is a little bit confusing here. I'll just tell you why it looks weird. It's because our home position is there. So it's actually... It, it is up. Um, it's gone the other way. It kind of looks a little bit weird. Uh, it's reading the last part of the program here. So we just put in an MO3, MO3, just to cut this part out of it, our program and see if that makes any difference. And there we are. We've come over here. We've gone to Z, 0.1 of an inch. 
uh, and we've gone over. Oh, here we are. There's a problem here too. Look, we're at uh, we're Z1 inch, not 0.1. So we come over here, backspace that, click that over there, and that is one inch rather than that. So that's what we looked at a little bit weirdly before. Hang on, no Z. Oh, we already were there. Uh, Z. We turn the spindle on. Oh, okay. We've done. We're already at that, so you don't really need that one there. We've already wrapped it down. We've come down here to when we did the G43 when wrapped. We've come down to. Sorry, that's point one. Here, backspace there, and we'll redo that again. We're going to one inch long. And now we're going to go into the job. We're going to go ZG01 because we're in rapid at the moment. We want to go G O G0, G01. Uh, feed rate. Our feed rate's one inch a minute. Uh, we're going down with it so it's standard anyway. We don't need to do that again. We could type in another feed rate, but once this feed rate is in here, that will always go to that feed rate if we call it G01, unless we call another feed rate. Uh, it will stay in that because it's modal. Uh, so we're going to go there. We're, we're going to go G01, Z, negative, uh, sorry, uh, point, go back space here, negative 0.25. And let's update that and see here it's gone down here to negative 0.25 down that way 0.25 I want to put 025 sorry 025 thou two decimal points backspace that there we go uh, 0.1 up x1 mil over there and then down. Uh, we'll just hit the little ply there, down there, and back up again. Uh, it's got the MO3. Oh, sorry, that's an O3. That should be a 30, you silly boy. 30, which is, and that won't read now the last line here, so now it stops there. So there we go. Uh, apply that again. Comes down, goes down. Uh, Point, it's actually point two five point zero two five. There we go. So it's just coming down a little bit. Right now we are in G ninety, which is absolute programming. So everything comes from that point there. But our slot, we want to sort of simplify this. We don't want to sort of chase our tail here. Our slot is only point four wide here, and we want to sort of go backwards and forwards between there in what we call incremental. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the width of the cutter because we've got a quarter end mil. We're going to use the diameter of the cutter to make this slot and nothing else. We're just going to go back and forwards in the slot here. So we're going to go G91. Now that's incremental. So we want to go from wherever it is, like here. Uh, see what our zoom does. We'll pan a bit. There we go. We want to go in that direction there, in the Y, no, so the X direction. We're going to go X. Now we're going to go in a positive direction. That's a positive direction. And we're going to go how far? We're going to go 0.4 of an inch. Back again. 0.4. So we're going to go in a positive direction. 0.4. Let's just update that. And now we see a line that goes up there, 0.4 of an inch. So our cut is going to be here, coming down here and up there. We'll just view that on the top there. You can sort of see there's a cut is going to come down, it plunge down there, and it's going to go up there. And uh, we're still, and we just go back into the isometric view here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go down again another now we're in g91 we're incremental so we're going to go from there enter z negative negative 
0.025. Now, because it's in incremental, we're going to go from there 0.25, but the total depth now is going to be 0.5 or 50,000 from there. So we just update that. You'll see this just come down that little bit there because we're incremental. All right. So now we're going to come back the same way. So we want to go, we're going to incremental, we're going to go from there in a negative direction here, back 400. So we're going to go x negative 0.4. Let's just update that and see what that does. And you'll see here, we've come from there, that's going in a negative direction. So that's our new zero point. We're coming back here, 400. And of course, we go... Uh, we want to go straight down again, Z uh, negative 0.25, and we'll update that. That uh, so we're going to put 0.02, we put it should be on a zero there, so zero. Update that, there we go. And now we're at 25, 50, 75. We want to go back the other way, another 400. We're still in modal, remember. We go back into, we're in G90, we're incremental modal. We're in, we want to go X.4, X.4. We'll update that. We'll see our line goes back up again. So that's 25, 50, 50, 75, 100. We want to go down another 0.25, which will take us to 1 8 exactly. So we're going to go enter z negative 0 0.025 update that you see we've come down and now we're going to go back the other way we're going to go x negative direction from where it is 0 0.4 and just to be on the safe side we're just going to go down another 25,000. So we're going to go Z, just in case there's a burr on the corner, Z negative 0 0.025. Uh, we'll update that and we'll go back up the other way. Uh, X positive 0.4. Okay, now we have our first slot done. It's gone backwards and forwards using the width of the cutter to do this. And now what we want to do is we want to get this back out, back out from there. So we want to go, go. So we want to go back out. We want to be out of. We want to go in rapid, which is G zero 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 zero. We want to go G90, G90, which is back to absolute from wherever it is. We want to go Z in a Z positive 0.1 and equal, and we'll update that. So now we've ducked back straight up, but now we're in, now we're in uh, absolute again. So now if I put in a figure, it'll be from my absolute point from my x, y. So now what we want to do is, we'll have a look at our drawing here. We need to come from there, one inch plus 0.8 of an inch, uh, so it's 1.8 inches, to our next spot. So what we'll do is we'll go, we're in absolute now. We want a rapid, we're, now we're in, we're, we're in absolute, we're in G00, which is rapid. We want to go 1.8 inches. Uh, and that is course. I forgot to put the X. It's 1.8 there. And we'll update that. And you'll see, uh, we'll go zoom all. You'll see we've now, because we come from that point there, we're in absolute from that position there to that point there. Now, what we want to do is go down and repeat this exercise here. So what we can do is I can type this out laboriously, but from my G91, I can go grab all of that there, all the way up to there, 
right click copy and down in here enter and paste now if I update that it will copy everything that's done there remember it's back into it because I copied the G91 we're back to incremental and again if I update that it will do not what I wanted to do hang on let's have a look what have I done wrong oh it's because I don't have what have I done wrong here we're oh because we're at Z point one we need to be back at the surface of the job so we need to be in G01 G01 which is which is um, uh, uh, linear interpolation we're going to follow that line there with G01 and we want to be at the surface of the job uh, uh, 01 Z, Z, zero on the surface of the work because that's what we did here. Oh, we want to know G01. Z, we want to go down point zero to zero two five zero two five two five. Let's see what that does. See if that fixes us up. No, we have a problem there because it's not looking very good with just G90. We should have but G90. We've gone, we're up to, uh, which is 1.8, you silly boy. 1. Point, uh, so we've gone G00. Uh, the 1.8 is in the wrong spot. We'll just take that out. Cut. Uh, Z0, we need to have that in the front of that. Paste, see what that does. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of a height problem here. We've gone down to, we're in point where we're positive here, we need to go negative. So we'll just change that. We'll take that zero out there and put a negative there and update that. There we have it. We've got that. Uh, now, what we want to do is shut the whole thing down. So we come up here in rapid, we've come down to the surface, we've plunged down there, we've gone backwards and forwards down here, back there, back there, and through the thing. And then we've, caught, we've, we've pitched over, we've gone back to absolute, gone up to 1.8, and we've copied everything here, which is incremental, and we're doing the same thing here. So there's our two slots done with a quarter cutter. Now what we've done is we've finished this whole thing off. We wanted to take out this M30 command, which is the rhyme back to the start. Uh, we're going to turn the spindle off and we're going to send this thing home in the Z. So when we do this, it will go and we go. So we've gone uh, Z.2. We still haven't got ourselves up out of the way yet. So we need to go enter G00. And we'll go Z, Z, uh, point 0.1 or 100 thou above the job. I don't think it really matters because I think this will just do exactly the same thing anyway. But let's just do that anyway. All right, so there we have it. Now, because our Z0, that's the thinks our home position is there, so uh, it's not showing exactly what we do on the machine, but uh, uh, that effectively is our uh, program to do those two slots. I'm Mark Wilson, and thanks for watching.